let us have a brief overview of right and left sided cardiac failure. This is a picture of the cardiac blood flow dynamics. From all over the body blood returns to the right atrium via the superior and inferior vena cavae and from the right atrium it passes to the right ventricle from where it is pumped via the pulmonary artery to the lungs for oxygenation. Oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins and from the left atrium it passes to the left ventricle from where it is pumped to all over the body passing out via the iota. In left sided cardiac failure when the heart starts to fail blood stasis within the lungs resulting in pulmonary edema and this leads to congestion and associated symptoms. It is more difficult for the airways to expand as one inhales and breathing becomes difficult one may feel short of breath particularly with activity or lying down. In right cardiac failure when the right side of the heart starts to fail sufficient blood does not return back to the heart fluid collects in the feet and lower legs resulting in pitting edema. As the failure worsens ascites develops. Weight gain accompanies the fluid retention and this is an excellent measure of how much fluid is being retained. Edema is a sign of right heart failure especially pitting edema. Non pitting edema is not caused by heart failure. So it, to summarize left sided cardiac failure results in pulmonary condition, right sided cardiac failure results in pitting edema, ascites and fluid retention. We shall have an overview in this diagram. In left sided cardiac failure pulmonary edema develops in right sided cardiac failure fluid retention ascites and pitting edema develops.